the ghost from the Christmas past. <laughs> yeah, I've gone off my head. Good morning to you. Welcome to Wednesday. Like Mrs. H said, these flowers are like you, she said. Me. She said, they're simple. And simple? No, they're delicate and simple. <laughs> yeah, beautiful. Roses, I can, I can name them. All right, so how are you doing in yourselves? Okay, I hope so. Um, looking forward to this shave. And the reason is, because I haven't used this for a while. Sterling British leather. I like this. Really like the scent of this. If you're in Australia, Imperial Leather, Cousins Imperial Leather, or in Britain, if you remember the old, it's similar to that. And we're going to use this beauty. It's a West Coast shaving, look at that. It comes in a box, I've used it many times. Proper wooden box, beautiful. And it's called the Hyperion Stainless Steel Razor, three-piece, non-adjustable. Nice spiral knurling on it. Good long thread on there. And that's what that is. I'm going to use a brand new shark blade. Super chrome blades. Uh, these are made by Lord. And uh, this was one of the samples packs which Dave sent me. If you're watching, thanks again Dave. So I'm going to try one of these. The shark. Very carefully, we'll place that on the head. There you go. I put these glasses on because uh, there are stronger lens in them, and I can see it's nice and clear now. So you see, because uh, there we go. There's the. Can you see the blade exposure there? There you go. And it's like a clam shell sort of knurling on the edge there. Nice, good balanced razor. Brush, we're going to use the DS Cosmetic Barber Pole Synthetic Brush. There, and I've got some in the HC and C stainless steel bowl. This is the black uh, stainless steel bowl there. So we'll wet the brush and we'll get going. I think I've had a haircut since you see me last. After the, <laughs> the comb back. Oh, the smell of this is beautiful. So from the puck, the scent is probably a five out of 10. And then here now is roughly the same. So, and this does, when you walk out, after the shave, when I go out, and then if you come back about 20 minutes later, you can smell it, it's lovely. And it's as simple as that, really. You see that? The reason I use this bowl a lot is it's such a good size for me another one of these it's not small and it's not big it's a it's a go-to size lovely works well as you can hopefully see there but I do change the bowls because it's nice to have a change isn't it look at that that is that's what it's all about so we'll wet this face and then we'll get going. We'll go for three, three dollops of water. Are you having a shave today? Have you had one? Shaving twice a week. I was asked the other day um, in person. Um, watched a couple of these if you're watching nice to, <laughs> um, I won't mention your name in case you don't want to be mentioned but because uh, some people don't like to be mentioned on camera do they? but uh, not that it matters but 
Um, well, it does to them, but uh, they asked me, you only shave twice a week, why is that? Well, because I film twice a week. Usually I shave twice a week, so I film twice a week. Um, I don't need to shave daily, and I find I enjoy the shaves, having them twice a week. Lovely to shave every day, but I find I have good shaves, better shaves twice a week, because there's actually something worth shaving. And I look forward to them more. As I say, a very rare time I will shave if I'm going somewhere. But that's lovely. Uh, I hope the midweek is finding you well. As I've said before, no matter what sort of week you're having, good I hope, that um, you're halfway through it. If you're watching this Wednesday. So we're heating up the Hyperion, full stainless steel, West Coast shaving DE razor. So Brand new sh uh, shark, first pass. That's... That's a nice blade, yeah. In this razor, especially for... I have used them before I think but what I've noticed with razors like this this stainless steel they're precis precision made and you can feel the precision on their face you can just like a sort of made to measure feel if you know what I mean it's like it the quality shines through comes through to the face look at the whiskers there Ooh, should have a whisker cam Slickness is excellent, as you'd expect. Oh yeah, beautiful. The scent is gorgeous. My father, I've said him many times, if he'd have smelt this, he'd have, he'd have been gone. Or there'd have been a big chunk of it gone out. <laughs> I'll say, have, you, have you had some of this soap, I'd have to say? No, I don't think so. Second pass. Blade is a good match in this razor for me.
it feels um, a nice mild smooth aggression if that makes sense I should say that the aggression is mild and smooth but it doesn't miss a beat on the on the whiskers that's what I'm saying with this precision making it's, it's just you can almost feel the hours of must have gone into making this to to get to this level of accuracy shall we say that's how I feel and it's lovely I've had this a few years now this razor I got a couple of uh, new products on the way, they've been sent to me. Um, I have used this brand that's on its way before, but I haven't used what's coming, if that makes sense. And all will be revealed when they're Arrive, beautiful slickness. Look at that. Easily go to work with that. I was going to say the other the other day working, and I went to a house, and I had a parcel for this house. So I knocked the door, and they answered the door. And all I had was this waft of frying bacon. Now I don't know what it is. I wasn't particularly hungry, but that smell just oh, I could have run in and. <laughs> Because I said, oh, I said, that smells, it does me, bacon. The smell of bacon cooking and someone frying onions is another, just, poof. Is it just me or do you find that? Yes. Well, if you eat bacon and you eat onions, obviously, with, against the growth now. And it always seems to smell better somewhere else than it does in your own home, I think. Obviously, if you're a vegetarian or a vegan, you wouldn't appreciate the smell, maybe. But um, it's just one of them things for me. It's just... It's like you can smell, you know, and um, if you go to a, you sometimes in this country to the fun fair, um, or some sort of theme park or some sort of a show in a field, you know, an event, and there's a chap there cooking hot dogs and burgers and bacon and all sorts of stuff, and you can smell when the onions on the flat plate. You see him jumping up.
So now, wow, you smell like it, yeah? <laughs> Three, two, one, pick up time, baby. That is nice. Pick up time, there we go. I love that sound. Beautiful. And I'm going to have cold water rinse. Oh. Oh. Strain the eye there. <laughs> Look at the reef. Right. Oh, nice then. Oh. This is a this is a lovely feeling after a cut. This and Mrs H does the back for me just up there. Fair play to him. It's a, oh, it's a lovely feeling, nice and tidy and out the way. Right, so now we're going to go with some homemade mentholated witch hazel today. That's a slightly weaker mix than what I did last time. But, uh, that's that. And then the matching aftershave. I love this. Barbers. Yeah, but in the barbers. This sort of scent it reminds me of a, I should have said it, it reminds me of a barber. It's not barbershop scent, it reminds me of a barbershop. We had as a child this scent. So, um, yeah, Ooh -hoo. and you could always smell it if someone had a shave, that the barber had shaved someone beforehand or trimmed a beard, and they'd put a splash of, must have been imperial leather or something like that, or something similar, because this reminds me of it really. And then, We'll go with some standard Nivea cream. Oh, just bear with me. Oh, it's quite thick, this. I like that. Oh. This is a... Uh... God, this reminds me of the old classic Nivea, this. When it was a bit thicker. 
It's um, I just got it from a place called Home Bargains in this country. Lovely. I got that and a bigger tin of it. And that is it. So we've used the, the West Coast Shavings. This is full stainless steel and it's called the Hyperion three piece non adjustable. Very, very, very slight. You could almost class that as no overhang, but I can just feel probably a, a thou of a mill. Is there such a thing? I don't know, just a, just a whisper. Uh, spiral knurling, nicely balanced, feels nice. You can feel the precision with this razor. It's a mild shave, but very precise. There's no, it doesn't struggle at all. It's beautiful. Um, DS Cosmetic Barber Pole Brush. We've used the HCNC Hendrix Classic and Company, the uh, stainless steel bowl. Sterling's British leather, beautiful stuff. Good slickness, lovely scent, as I say, strength five out of ten for me. Water to rinse. Homemade mentholated witch hazel. The matching sterling British leather aftershave. And this standard Nivea cream, which really reminds me of the classic old Nivea when it was thicker. Forgot about that because uh, the Niveas I've got now, the modern ones, are thinner. But that's got to... Anyway, don't waffle, Paul. So, thanks for watching. <laughs> have a great, if you're still there, have a great rest of the week. Have some good shaves if you haven't any. Try and stay happy if you can and positive in this silly world. Because it's only us that's uh, keeping it going. And um, yeah, we'll see you on Sunday for the weekend shave. So thank you again for your time, for watching, for your comments and support and subscribing if you have. Much appreciated. So all the best and I'll see you then. Take care and bye-bye.